Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Garadil. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create the users and groups in JFrog artifact. Okay, let's see the demo. Okay, some of the projects, they might not be used LDAP, SSO, some other things. They want to create a manual users. How you can create, how you can add the particular users to group. In this, in this particular group, we can provide what are the permissions, whether read permissions or admin privileges. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now, first, I will be create the groups, then I will be attach the particular groups to the users. Okay. Go to the settings. And here we have a user management. Click this one. Here we have a groups. Click this groups. Default, we have a readers group. Now I'm going to create a one group, new group. Here I'm giving, giving Murli group example. Okay. And you can give the description here and also you can give the external ID same. And here, what type of permissions you want to give this particular group? I'm giving the admin administrator platform. Okay. And here we have to add the users. Currently, we haven't created any users, right? Later, I will create the user and I will add the particular users to this particular Murli FN group. Okay. Just save it. Now we have created click this one. If you observe here, once we clear the group group name. We can't edit it, okay? You can edit the description, you can edit the ID. And if you want to give us uh, other permissions, you can give it instead of administrator. Okay, fine. Next, I'm going to create the users. Click the users, and here I'm creating Siva. The username is Siva. I'm giving here mail ID, the quarrel with Murli. Okay? The quarrel with Murli. Uh, here I'm giving the administrator role. Or else you can. I'm giving here same it's password. Also giving same. Two five double zero. Here for two five double zero. Okay. Now we come here. We have a groups. Okay. What what type of group? Currently we have given only reader. I'm removing reader. I'm just I'm giving the Murli group. What will happen inside the Murli group? We have a admin privileges. Right. This particular admin privileges it will be affect to Siva user. Okay. Now save it. Now we have saved that one. Now we can open this Siva. Now we can see here, come down. If you want to change the password, you can change it. If you see here related groups, you can add it a only group, okay? And also you can see here repository level, bills level, release bundles level, what are the permissions we have given, everything you can able to see here. Okay, if you want to delete the user also, you can delete here. Now what I'm doing earlier, we have logged in with admin, right? I'm logged out this one. I'm logging with Siva user, okay? Give the Siva user and the password is jfrog at the rate 25800. Okay. Then login. If you log in here, now we have an admin access rate. That is the reason you are able to see all the options. Okay. You can able to see the all the options. In case if you required only read only access, I'm going to create one more user. The username is Muni. Okay. The mail ID also just I'm giving same morally. Okay, next one you can if you want to provide the rules admin, but I'm I'm here I'm giving the password also same I am giving JFRAG other two pay double zero. Now come here, here we given only readers. Okay, now we can save it. Yeah, when you give the readers here, you see here repository level. And also builds level and also release bundles level. What are the permissions here? If you observe you only readers option, okay. Save it this one. Now I'm logging with Muni user. Log out this uh, Siva user and give it Muni. And here I'm logging password is JFR other to pay double zero. Okay, login. Now we have login. If you observe here, you don't have admin access. That is the reason you are not seeing the settings option. You have only read only access, okay. You can see only artifacts read only access. What is that? Right? Based on role to role, specific person. For example, I am a solution architect. I have an admin access. Okay, one one of my team member, he's a fresher, he's junior guy, will be provided only read only access instead of admin access. Okay, based on role to role, will be provided in real time also. Okay, I hope understand that. Right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.